And happening now, Decatur City leaders will be meeting in just a few minutes for their work session prior to tonight's council meeting. Now, the way they repossess cars uh, in the River City could soon change after tonight's meeting. Let's get right to Way 31 reporter Maddie McCaffrey, who is at City Hall. She joins us live with more. Maddie. Hey, Robin Nicole, the new repossession ordinance, it will be brought up tonight and Decatur City Attorney says the goal of it is to keep the community and police department informed and ultimately safe when repossessions happen. Now, the new, repos the new repossession ordinance would require a repo agent to notify the Decatur Police Department 30 minutes before a planned repossession takes place and notify them within an hour after the repo has been completed. Now, repo agents would also have to notify the department if an attempted repossession was not successful. Councilman Hunter Pepper said last week he thinks this ordinance would take away resources from the police department and the family of Steve Perkins does not agree with this proposed ordinance because they want to see a stop to late night car repossessions. Now city leaders will also be voting on a $3,500 investment towards possibly bringing a safe haven baby box to the River City. Now it's worth mentioning that Councilman Hunter Pepper came out here a few minutes ago. He spoke to us about tonight's meeting and he expressed that he does not like this repossession ordinance and has a lot of questions that he'll be bringing up at tonight's meeting. We'll be following all of this for you closely. I'm reporting live in Decatur with coverage you can count on. Maddie McCaffrey, Way 31 News.